I'm Brian Gallagher from Ancestry. I'm here with Rachel Lecour Neeson, founder of SaveFamilyPhotos.com. Uh, can you tell us a bit about Save Family Photos? Sure. So Save Family Photos started as a personal Instagram project. Um, after my grandfather died, I was given um, boxes and slide carousels of photos of him and my grandmother and their family, my mother. And as I started going through them and scanning them for my family, I realized that I was not only becoming a family historian, but also I was uncovering a lot of gems in terms of family moments that I really wanted to share with my own friends and a lot more family who hadn't seen them. So I started posting them on Instagram and tagging my family members and some friends who I thought would like to see them who knew my grandfather. And next thing I knew, I invited other people to submit photos. And I was getting thousands of submissions from around the world, people who also had boxes or slide carousels full of family gems that they were just starting to look at. And they wanted the world to actually see the importance of them okay. and share little bits of their stories about their family members. And of course, we see it in our social feeds every day. Uh, what's the most moving or, I guess, amazing or inspirational story or, or that you've seen shared? You know, I think that the most um, inspirational stories that stand out to me are the ones that have both the most authenticity, but also um, the most humility. I think that a lot of times we want to um, assume that our family stories are all positive or all upbeat, but I think many times when we share our challenges that we have faced as a family, whether it was a grandfather who was an immigrant um, coming to make a better life for his family, or a child who might have lost a sibling at a young age, um, when we tell those stories one photo at a time, we actually encourage other people to gather around and share their stories too. And I think there's a universality to that and also a comfort yeah. that we can say that we all can relate to each other and recognize ourselves and each other's histories. Yeah, that's true actually. Yeah. And you've experienced a lot of growth recently, last six to eight months. Can you tell us a bit about the growth? Yeah, it's been exponential growth, uh, both with the Instagram feed and now with the blog. I've um, been amazed at the response. It was really humbling to see so many people from around the world emailing me photos or hashtagging a photo on Instagram with the Save Family Photos hashtag. And so suddenly I realized I was becoming a curator of family memories. And to me, there's no greater responsibility or wonderful opportunity um, to serve people in a way that actually uses social media for, for good. When you realized that you were becoming this curator just out of what you'd started, how did you feel when that happened? Um, both surprised and also incredibly exhilarated because there is a unique energy in that trust. Um, I think that I consider myself now a steward of stories that, you know, when someone emails me out of the blue from another part of the world or even from my own home state, I realize that they're sharing a piece of their own, like, intimate family uh, story with me. And with that in mind, they're asking me, are you willing to share this with the rest of the world too and help me edit that in a way that is uh, resonant uh, okay. universally. Yeah. Yeah. And tell us, where can everybody find or follow Save Family Photos? Sure. So right now, um, there are two primary channels that are opportunities for everyone to gather around. I like to say it's a virtual campfire where you can come and share your stories or read other people's stories and um, just take all of that in. The Instagram feed is Save Family Photos. Um, and the website is SaveFamilyPhotos.com. So I'm sure we're going to hear a lot more about SaveFamilyPhotos.com in the future. I hope so. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thanks, Brian.